Okay, we are going to make um, a home page using Bootstrap with a sticky nav. I give you the sticky nav coding. Uh, we're going to download a large image of whatever uh, and then place it using coding and something called a, a wrapper. So um, I'm going to do that um, and hopefully um, everything will be okay. So um, here we go. So here I am on our website, the Canvas page. I'm going to scroll down. Here's where it says final project, home page with sticky nav, and 15 product work page. Don't even worry about the work page yet. But I'm going to click on the uh, part one, which is a bootstrap nav with a full image. And first thing I'm going to do is download the bootstrap template. And there it is. Let me move stuff out of the way here. Let me go to downloads. Double click the bootstrap template. Let me rename it um, just home. Whatever. You can name it whatever but that's this is the folder we're going to keep everything okay because it already has the bootstrap template it has the css file uh, folder and the js folder that which is what we need so i'm going to rename this uh home and first thing i'm going to do is go back or actually open this in adam and sorry, I've got all this stuff here. Okay. All right. Let me try this again here. Open with Adam. There it is right there. It's Bootstrap template. Notice it's already linked to the Bootstrap min file. And it's also linked to a file that we haven't named yet. I'm going to name this home.css, even though I haven't created it yet. But it's all set up to go because we have this web page where the CSS folder is. It's linking to those files inside the CSS folder. Um, okay, and uh, let me save it, and then let me go back to um, Canvas, and if you scroll down, I am so nice to give you the sticky nav coding here rather than type it out line by line, so I'm going to highlight it just like I'm going to have you do. Copy it, go back into Atom, and paste it. Now, here's the thing. Notice these wonderful comments, sticky nav here, or end of sticky nav. Yes, that's what you, you need to do. The comments will save you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have you do is here's the title. And instead of saying your bootstrap template, whatever, I'm going to say, uh, I'll put my name. And you can put your name and then so just say home with sticky nav. Because that's what we're making and that's the title of, you know, that's, that won't be on your web page, but it'll be on the address bar. So I'm going to save it. Now, I'm going to go uh, down to the sticky nav. And notice I placed the sticky nav first thing under the body. And I'm going to go down to um, where it says nav bar brand. And you're going to, you're going to put your name there. 
And then you're going to put um, the about me, contact, and work, just like you're making a real portfolio. So this is going to be the home page, and we don't need a link to the home page because we're on the home page. But we need a link to all the other pages. Now, I don't know how many pages we're going to make uh, with the time that we have um, left in the class. But we are going to make a home page and the work page. But the work page is going to be rather large. So just put your, put your name here and put your, make sure what already says about me, contact, and, and work. And save it. And then... Um, I'm going to right click as I always do and reveal in Finder and it's going to show me exactly where it is and here is what it looks like already. Look at that. And the reason it's collapsing is because the JS, the JavaScript is, file is working and so we have that built already. Now is it designed? No. But it is working. That's really the first thing you have to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a large image of the Portland skyline. You can use whatever. But you want to go with a large image. So I'm going to go into Google uh, Images. And the first thing I want to do is Tools, Size, Large. And I put in Portland skyline for me. And uh, this one, here's something like a night line, a nighttime skyline. Um, these are sometimes are a little long, wider than they are high, uh, which is fine. But um, I want to do a nighttime. I think I'm going to go right here. And then what I like to do is click it, and then I'm going to right click over here and say open image in new tab. It's going to create a new tab for me of just the image, full screen, best uh, version of the image that I can get. And I'm, then I'm, once I do that, I'm going to right click and save the image. Now here's the thing. Um, where did I put it? Oh, I thought I put it in documents here. Nope, I put it in download. So I made a folder, just home, final, web2, and here's my home HTML. Here's my two CSS files. Now what I can do is I can cr create an IMG folder just to hold images, okay? And I'm going to call it uh portland and i think now wait a minute before i do that I'm trying to figure out what kind of file it is here um Come on. Well, let me do the same thing here. Uh, let me see if I can get information. Okay. I'll do this. Let me try it again. Uh, open image in new tab. Save image. Okay. In my new IMG folder, call it uh, Portland, all lowercase. I don't know what kind of file it is, so I'm gonna guess that it's a JPEG file. You can't you can't rename a file and just say, "Oh, I'm gonna rename it." So you can't make a PNG of JPEG. The computer will recognize that it's actually a JPEG or a PNG, and you named it something else, and that just doesn't work. But I'm gonna save it. Okay. And then um, let me go into, I want to check and see um, what kind of file it is 
here and see how it says JPEG image and it's actually viewing. If I, if I renamed it wrong, it wouldn't show it. Okay, so it was, I guessed, it was a JPEG right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, write some coding and put it on this page here. There's our page right there. So I'm going to go into Atom, and I'm going to go below the sticky nav. Here's the closing of the sticky nav comments right there. And I'm going to hit the Enter key a couple times. I'm going to say, um, make, make a comment. I don't have to, but large image placed here. Okay. And I'm going to do something called a wrapper. So um, I'm going to say div class equals container, because that's the bootstrap thing. I'm going to make it fluid, dash fluid, because that's going to be all the way across the page. And then I'm going to create my own class name to talk to it called wrapper. And the first thing I like to do is I'm going to close off the div tag before I forget. So now I've got open and closed the container that goes all the way across the page because of this dash fluid I added to the name container. Now inside that, what I'm going to do is remember we always have to make a row. Okay, and then inside the row, we're going to make a, a column. Now, I haven't um, decided on what I'm going to do, but let me just make a column. And I'm going to say, uh, the idea is, well, I won't even do that. Let me just keep the column, because I'm not going to place anything yet on the page. So I'm going to save this. So I have a column and a row, but I have nothing in the row, nothing in the, I mean, no, nothing in the row, nothing in the uh, column. Uh, so it's just going to be the image. And the only reason it's going to be the image is I'm going to talk to this in a, in a separate little CSS file I'm going to make. Talk to the word wrapper and then do stuff with it. So let me do that. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go File, New in Atom. And it's going to create an empty file. Notice it's called untitled. First thing I want to do is save it. And I'm going to make sure I save it. I'm going to go to downloads. And I want to save it in the correct CSS folder here. And I'm going to call it uh, home. Okay. And I'm going to place it again in the CSS folder where my web page is. All right. So it's now it's just a blank canvas waiting, waiting to be uh, added to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to that word wrapper that I gave the large container. And I'm going to do some things. I'm going to give it a height. And the height, we've never done this before, it's going to be 100 VH, uh, vertical height. So it's 100 percent of the vertical height of of the um, display screen whatever the whatever screen you're on phone computer laptop tablet whatever and then the next thing I'm going to do is now we don't have to do this but it's good to do a minimum height and I'm going to do a minimum height of 500 px okay now I'm going to place that background, that image, as the background. And the URL, when I say URL, and it does a couple parentheses, I'm saying the URL means, hey, I'm going to show you how to get to this file from this, um, how to get to this image from this file inside the parentheses. So the first thing I have to do is, because I'm inside the CSS folder, I want to get out of the CSS folder and go up one level. 
I'm going to go dot dot slash. Okay, and then I'm going to call to and name the image, and it's portland.jpg. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that it's full screen and stays in the middle and doesn't repeat. So we have to do a couple things. We have to say background dash size. And we're going to use the word cover. It's going to cover the entire screen. Okay. And then we're going to say background dash position center. That's going to make sure it's centered in the middle. And then the last thing we're going to do is make sure it doesn't repeat. Background dash repeat no repeat and that forces it not to repeat okay now if I go if I save it and again I want to make sure that up here again I'm, I'm naming the same file I'm calling to that CSS file I just made and I'm gonna right click reveal in finder um, double click it And let me see why it's not showing up here. Um, oh, let me see. Sometimes uh, inside the CSS file, you'll need some quotation marks. Oh, and it put two there. There you go. <laughs> okay. And let me see if that is the case there. Okay. Hmm. Portland. I just want to make sure that, um, so I'm going to go uh, this, I'm going to go reveal and finder portland.jpg. Okay, let's see here. Just double checking. Home. Oh, um, okay, I made a mistake. So on my CSS, I say, hey, get out of this folder, the CSS folder, go up a level and look for a file called Portland, but it's not there. It's in a folder called IMG. So now what I'm saying, <laughs> this is a, a newbie thing. So I'm going to go right here. It says, hey, get out of this folder, CSS. Go up a level. Look for a folder called IMG. Go inside the folder IMG. That's that slash. And then inside that folder, you should find a file called Portland JPEG. <laughs> okay. Now, if I, if I reload it, there it is right there. Okay. All right, so I want everybody to do that by, uh, by the end of um, Wednesday the 11th, and I'll be back after that, and then we'll add some text. And we're going to put some text, our name and the word portfolio, right in the middle here. Now, what we are going to do, too, is we're going to do a font face for a variety of fonts. So we're going to do a font face for this, for these, and for the text that we're using, a little bit of text on the thing page. So there you go. So go ahead and, and again, um, make this happen before I get back, and then we'll add to it. And then all next week, we'll start on the, um, the portfolio work page with 15 modals on it. So we have a lot to do. Thanks.